Scam School Remix. Here's a diabolical method to figure out which one of your friends secretly stole from you. We're gonna steal some objects, and first of all, I'm gonna give you guys a present before I take stuff away. Paul, you get one, because I love you very much. Darren, you get two, because I love you slightly more. Colleen, you get three, because I love you most of all. And all the rest of these, let me put them all right down here. I want each of you three to steal one of these objects when I turn back around, but I should not be able to tell where it is. Turn around now. And of course, because I'm a gentleman, I'm totally not looking. Just tap me on the shoulder when you guys have it all. Okay, good. All the most treasured pieces in my prized possession are totally gone. I'm gonna turn around, and I'm gonna give you guys some instructions, all right? Whoever stole the Android Pride sticker, you need to punish yourself by counting how many Tic Tacs you were given. And I want you to take that many more from the pile, and I want you to swallow them down. You got it, awesome. Now, whichever one of you stole my awesome deck of cards, I want you to count how many Tic Tacs you were given, and I want you to take twice that amount and swallow them all down. All right, whoever got the awesome Uber Tooth glue sniffing thing, you are the most foul person of them all. And you need to take four times the number of Tic Tacs that you originally were given and swallow them off. I think it's gonna be like taking a mouthful of horse pills. All right, the evidence is hidden. I don't know how many of you guys swallowed, although Paul Stimson seems to be chewing something. And I got a whole bunch for me as well. There we go, hold on, wait for it. I'm gonna take all the rest of it like this. Um, the Tic Tacs have been fused in my mouth. The answer, because they lay witness to what happened. Their brethren are inside your bodies. And that is why I'm able to tell that you have the Uber tube. Which means you, Colleen, have my deck of cards. And of course, by default, that means you have the awesome Android sticker. If you haven't lost it, there we go. This trick is an old Martin Gardner idea and it was sent in by a fan of ours who runs the Gray Matters block. First thing you gotta do is you gotta have 24 objects inside of a box. Doesn't matter if they're matches. I use Tic Tacs and I like Tic Tacs because you get to eat the evidence. And of course, everyone perceives that you wouldn't know exactly how many Tic Tacs are inside a box at all times because you're always consuming them. Same thing, you can use like some wooden matches. Let's say I have wooden matches right here. You can actually use those as counters. The only thing is you gotta ask people to actually hide them afterwards, which makes it a little bit weird. They're not as tasty. All you have to do is decide on three people and give them a number, one, two, and three. That's why I gave you one, you two, and you three Tic Tacs. The other thing you have to do is have three objects to be stolen, and you have to be able, in your mind, to associate one with the letter A, one with the letter B, and one with the letter C. And in this case, it worked out great because your Android sticker for me was the A. For me, my B brand playing cards were the letter B. And for your weird Uber C skits. C for computer. C for computer, or I just actually, when you handed this to me, the first thing I did was folded the antenna so it looked like the letter C. So, super easy to remember A, B, C, and one, two, three. So then you begin by assigning one person, one item, the next person, two items, and the next person three items. So that's the one, two, and three there. And now, everybody steal something. All right, now I don't know who has what. All you gotta remember is whoever has A, go ahead and take out however many Tic Tacs you have and eat them. So you would take, you have one, so you would take one. And then whoever has B, the B playing cards, that's you, Darren, yeah. right? So you would go ahead and take two times your number. So that's two times two, so you would take four. There you go, and, you, and we'll say you ate them, or you could just hide them in there, it doesn't matter. And of course, whoever took C, you would take four times your number, and that's gonna be a big number, because you got three right there. So we got 12 all right there. So let's say you would eat those, which means when I turn around, I don't see any of the objects, I don't see any of the Tic Tacs, except for the ones you guys have in front of you. I only see one lone Tic Tac. The number of Tic Tacs left over at the end determines who has what object. And there's a simple mnemonic, this was written by Scott Cram of the Gray Matters blog, absolutely, Brian's active shows beckon cheating contributions. We're always asking people to send in their, their tricks to the shows. 
So just remember the sentence. Imagine me begging you to send in your tricks and me saying, absolutely, Brian's active shows Beckett cheating contributions. So built into these words are the code for the first two people, player one and player two. You always will know what they have, and by default, you can figure out player three. So the first word, if there's one left, the word is absolutely. So it's A, B. So I know that you have A, the Android sticker, you have B, the B playing cards, right? So absolutely, Brian. B-R-I-A-N, B-A. So if you have, there were two there, I would know that you had the, that you had the B's and that you had the A's. Active yeah. shows, so I know that again. you have A, and you have C, and a shows, shows is a non-word, it's just a place builder because there's no way you should have four counters at the end. If there is, then something's gone wrong. So absolutely, Brian's active shows, beckon would be B and then C, Cheating, C-H-E-A-T-I-N-G, contributions, C-B, right, C-B right there. The only sentence you need to remember is absolutely, Brian's active shows, Beckon, cheating, contributions, and that's all you need to know how this works. Like so many other scam school effects, we owe this one to the brilliant mind of Martin Gardner. If you haven't read his stuff, his Scientific American columns, his books on logic puzzles, mathematical conundrums, the guy was a national treasure. Everything he wrote is absolutely incredible. Scam School Remix is the best of 10 years and 500 plus episodes of Scam School. Each episode time compressed so you learn as fast as possible. What took me a decade to learn, you can learn in mere years, possibly months. But I'd say minutes, but that would be a lot. I guess some number of minutes, but not, it's gonna be a while. There's a lot. You got some catching up to do. Let's go, let's go.